What's going on everyone? So tomorrow, Manchester United versus Southampton. They've got some injury problems, Southampton, that I, I saw today. They've got Walcott potentially out, Romeo, Walker-Peters, Vestergaard. Um, so crucial players for them. I, I do rate most of them players. I think Walker-Peters, since he's gone there from Tottenham, he's, he's pushed on and improved. Vestergaard I really like as a centre-back. He's been out for a while though, I think. Um, Walcott, I think he's revitalised his career. Obviously, he was there at the start of his career and he's gone back and I think it's worked out for him. And I do like Romeo as well. Like He, he put in that dangerous tackle against us in the, a few months back. I um, can't remember on who it was now. It might have been Bruno. Um, but I do rate him as a footballer. I think he's underrated and doesn't get the props. I don't think that... He should for his like we we could do with a player like him I think so my lineup that I would go with David De Gea, Aaron Wan-Bissaka, Eric Bay, Harry Maguire, Luke Shaw. You know have Fred and Pogba in at two midfield, Greenwood on the right, Bruno in the middle, Dan James on the left, and Cavani up top. Bench I would have Henderson, Twanzebi, Lindelof, McTominay, Mata, Tellez, and Donny. Notice no Martial and no Rashford. For me. They have been so below par recently that you have to give them an ultimatum. Like, they can't perform like that and, and still be in the squad. A lot of the players have been poor, but them two especially, the consistency of shitness, that's what it is. Just shit. Like, the consistency of that recently from them, it's not good enough. So, for me, there needs to be consequences, so that's why they're not even in my squad for this game. Obviously, I know that they will be for Ollie, but this is my lineup and who I would go with. You have to start growing a set and, and a spine, as I've said many a time, and I don't think Ollie has that in him. They shouldn't even be in the squad right now. Bruno's not been up to par recently, but he's too quality to drop. Um, he does show up more, a lot more than Rashford and Martial do. I think Cavani will come good, as I say. I think I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a goal in this game, Cavani. And I think Dan James needs a run out because he's going to put in that effort that Rashford and Martial don't put on the wing. You, know, you could even put Mata there. He hasn't got the legs, but he will still put in more of an effort than Martial and Rashford will. And that's the problem. You can have all the ability and quality in the world, but if you haven't got the right mindset, mentality and, and the work rate, you're not going to get there. And for them two, they need to improve on that big time. Consequences for your actions. They don't make my squad. You could even put Matter on for Greenwood and have Dan James if you want to go that way as well. But I'm happy with that lineup. I I think he'll go Lindelof Maguire. But other than that, I think I, th I do think he'll start Rashford. And I think Martial might be on the bench, but Rashford will definitely start. I think so. But for me, they wouldn't even make the squad. There has to be consequences. So, but a good time to play um, Southampton with these injuries that I've seen. Obviously, they've still got the likes of Ings. Um, that Adams is doing well for them as well. Armstrong's an industrial player for them. They got a good squad, so it's going to be a tough game regardless. But they are weakened by them injury woes. Um, I think McTominay will come back for us. Obviously, he went with a stomach bug the other day. But yeah, um, I think it's going to be a tight game. But I do think we will win. We have to bounce back, and I think we will. Um, two one, I'm going for. I think it'll be by one goal, whatever the scoreline is, but in favour of us. We will get the three points in my opinion. So 2-1 Manchester United. And I look forward to tomorrow's game. I I do like watching Southampton. They're a good team to watch. And at times we are as well. So it should make for a good game. Hopefully there's a lot of opportunities and goals. But we are on the right outcome and the right end result. So 2-1 Manchester United for me. I don't think Diallo will be in the squad. He's, he's recently just played for the under-23s. And Ollie today in the press conference said that he's going to take his time with him. So that suggests that he might not make his debut for a month or longer. So we have to be patient with that. Obviously, it's transfer deadline day. Look, if you think we're going to get anyone, I would say that you're a fool. Now, if I'm proven wrong, I'm proven wrong. But this is not how we how we do business. Like It's the lack of business that's the problem. So I don't think we're getting anyone in today. So we're going to have to wait till the next window again. We've ignored the, the January transfer window again. So ends today and we ain't going to get anyone in. So I wouldn't hold your hopes on, on anyone. Um, and if it is, it'll probably be a 35 year old on loan. Do you know what I mean? It's a joke. So I'd be very surprised if we get anyone in. And if, if we do get anyone in, I will do another video saying that I was wrong. But I'm fully convinced we won't. So we'll see what happens with it. But 2-1 Manchester United tomorrow. I'll be back with a confirmed lineup and a post-match recap and player ratings. I'll see you guys tomorrow.